Hi guys, this is Mike and this will be a short test of the optical image stabilizer on a Panasonic 12-35 Mark II lens. Is it necessary to engage this thing when your camera is on a gimbal anyway? Let's find out. With two eyes. Okay guys, before we start, here's the friendly reminder, please subscribe if you haven't already. It would be greatly appreciated. Thanks. Okay, so I have this gimbal here, which is a C on Crane Plus, my GH5S, which famously has no IBIS, and the Panasonic 12-35mm Mark II lens, which has what they call a power optical image stabilizer. So the first test is in a car on a bumpy road, this is just on the gimbal. The optical image stabilizer is not engaged. And now it's turned on. To be honest, if there is a difference here, I can't see it. In my opinion, both shots look totally usable because the gimbal is doing the heavy work here. Second test is me walking. I tried to ninja walk as good as possible, but the ground was full of stones, so it was a little bit difficult to keep the gimbal steady. Anyway, so this is just a gimbal without the power stabilizer. And now with the stabilizer. Here it seems that the shot with the power OIS is steadier than the shot without. So this is cool. You can notice it especially on the edges. Third test is me walking fast, almost running across this field. And you can clearly see every time I stomp on the ground with my feet, there is this annoying bump in the footage. And then I noticed that when you engage OIS, you can actually also engage electronic stabilization in the GH5S menu. So here is what that looks like. It does zoom in a little bit, like a stabilizer plug-in would, but I feel this mode makes the footage the smoothest out of all three. It's not perfect by any means, but much better than the other two. One last test. I was curious if there is some kind of warping effect on these stabilizers. So I put the gimbal on the ground and was swinging the camera basically from left to right. But as you can see, the footage looks smooth on all three samples. Okay, so my conclusion is this. The optical image stabilizer on this lens works great in a normal setting, like walking or handheld, or if you have your camera on a gimbal. But as soon as you do more hectic movements, like running or something, this thing reaches its limits. So in my opinion, if you already do have a lens that has an optical image stabilizer, definitely try it out. There are some instances where it really helps. But if you think about buying a lens just because it is OIS, well, I wouldn't. I think a good gimbal and correct ninja walking do like 90% of the work for you to keep your image smooth and steady. And if you're still not satisfied with that, you can correct the last 10% with a stabilizer plugin. Everyone does that. But I would not buy a lens just because it has OIS. I think that's not worth it right okay guys so that was my conclusion and it ends my video i hope you liked it please like and subscribe and see you next time bye